Good morning everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back. Today I've got, um, I've been talking about the jelly plate um, lately and it's something that's intrigued me for a while and I've been, you know, going back and forth. Do I want to try it or not? Believe it or not, I've never tried one before. <laughs> um, I'm always late for everything as you guys probably already know. But I finally bit the bullet and thought, well, why not? I'm going to give it a try. So it came in, and this is the one I ordered. This isn't the original jelly plate, but they're just so expensive. I thought, well, since I don't know if I'm going to really get on with it, I'll just um, I'll, I'll stick with this one. i got to tell you guys, I am addicted. <laughs> so I just thought I'd show you guys. I am by no means an expert, but I just thought I would come on today and we'd have a little bit of a play around with it um, in case it's something that you've been considering and weren't really sure if you could make use of it because I know a lot of people when I've just brought it up in conversation have said oh I don't know it's the colors are pretty far out there I don't think it's going to be my thing so um, and I agree you know everybody's um, style and taste is totally different and so I just wanted to play around with it and see if it would be something that I could make use of. So today we're going to just, we're just going to give it a go. So let me get these off. I played around a bit yesterday and, um, and so that, is what I'm going to do today is show you guys what I dabbled with yesterday. Okay, so you know the blanks that you get for card making. They usually come with an envelope. Well, these are white, and I'll be honest, some whites aren't that pretty, and this is one of them, so I don't like these cards. So what I've done is I've just cut them in half, um, and I've placed one underneath here to be a guide for me. Um, what I thought we would do is play around and try to find a way to make some journal cards. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I've, <clears throat> as you can probably tell, I've moved my camera today because we've got beautiful light coming in from, from outside. So I've shifted it over. I thought it was worth a try to see how, we, how I get on with this. Um, so let me just show you what I played around with yesterday and the results I got. Uh, I'll show you a bit closer. I mean, I'm not happy with the placement of the butterflies, but the background, which was what was created on the jelly plate, I love it, love it, love it. And then this one, I made a boo-boo with when I stamped it, and so I was pretty disgusted over that. But taking that out of it, I absolutely love um the impression that that left. So let's just play, guys. Um, again, I don't have a lot of uh, ink pads. I used to have all of the colors from Stampin' Up, but I um, found that I wasn't really using them. And to be honest, I've never bought a lot of the Distress inks or Distress Oxides. I've just picked up a few here and there when I found them cheap or at uh, yard sales, that kind of thing. And again, I did not want to invest more money into something that I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy um, or be able to make use out of it with my style. So I'm just going to make do with what I've got today. Obviously, if you've got a, a greater selection of colors, you're going to have better results than what I have. <laughs> um, but it's just it's just to have some fun and um, just to show you guys what I've you know what I've been playing with and um, let me in fact let me just turn this I want this to be in a different a different angle so we're just going to play around with it I I just have had so much fun with this I can't tell you guys um, it's actually ended up being because let me tell you what I did I ordered it. And then, you know, as you do, after I placed the order, I thought, oh, maybe I ought to go in there and cancel it. That's probably really not something else I'm gonna, uh, that I'm going to get into. And I thought, no, I'll go ahead and let the order go on through. 
And um, so this is that wild honey dioxide. Um, so I thought, no, I'll just go ahead and see. But oh my gosh, guys, when I started playing with this thing, it has just been one of the most enjoyable bits of crafting I've had in a very, very long time. So this is just um, stamping up old olive. You know, I don't know. Maybe you're not supposed to mix the distress, o distress oxide with others. I have no idea. Um, I'm like I said. I'm not going to invest a bunch of money in inks if I don't think it's something that I'm going to um, get a lot of use out of. So. Just going to go back and forth. I want a little bit more of the yellow. So apparently you're supposed to do this really lightly so you don't get lines in it. So now I've got the stamp and I'm just going to start stamping to get some impressions. Let me think what colors. I'll go with the green. I think if you do it plain, it'll just pull the ink from it, but I want to actually get some color on there, so I'm just going to do that. And then I've got this butterfly. I wondered if I could put that um, on there and get an impression of that. Sorry guys, I'm not too sure this little setup is going to work for me. I, I, I think this is going to be probably the only time I do it this way. So I know that I'm going to try to keep it within that. Oh, I think it, I think it slipped a little bit. So I don't know if this is going to come out. But what the heck, it's all a bit of fun. Um, Okay, let me get this ready. So now I just want to play and see, get a little bit better about getting the different textures on there. So now you just press that down to try to get that image to transfer onto the, um, the card. And like I said, I'm no expert, when, but when I've had a little bit of free time, I've been looking up uh, videos with with projects that I that relate to me because there's a lot of um, the jelly videos out there but they're just they're not my style yeah hmm so I love the background it's just uh, some of these images and that's what I found yesterday this one, I really like it because it, it's kind of watercolor look. But this one, I went ahead and stamped after I had done it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the back of that and redo it because um, I know I'm not going to, I'm not happy with that image. So we're just going to redo that. And let me see if I could get a little bit more of the blue. This is such a soft blue. Um, I played around with some paints, and I'm not sure where I put those. Oh, goodness. Let's try to find. Hmm. Sorry, I did some prints on paper the other day, and I should have got those out before I started filming this, because I want to show you guys. Some of those came out really nice. So that's the blue. Just do a little bit of green. And then now let me grab a different. Well, I tell you what, just to show you, I'll just do the colors and not well. No, I'll just do it this way and then we'll stamp over it. Let's 
So see, yeah, I got a line in it, so that's a boo-boo, but, um, but I'd still, I wouldn't throw it out. I would use that still. So what I'm going to do now is I've got, well, I've still got the butterfly stamp. Let me stamp it. I'm just inking it up now and going to stamp that. Mm, yeah, that didn't come out very good either. I think my stamp needs a clean. But it is better, I think, stamped afterwards. But I do really love the background because you get a really nice texture to that. Okay, so the butterfly, I'm not a fan of that. Um, all right, let me try something different. Let me just try getting more of the yellow. And if you guys have any tips, if you are experienced at this, I always love any kind of tips that you can offer me. That would be great. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me just do a little bit here. I don't want to get too much green. Let me grab another sheet of paper. Um, sorry guys, I'm still trying to find a stamp. There was one I was using yesterday. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Okay guys, sorry about that. I was fumbling around and I thought, well, I better just stop and come back. Okay, so I was looking for this stamp, but while I took a little break, I'll just show you. That one didn't come out very well, but this is some of the papers that I played around with the other day. Um, and somebody was asking me if I would demonstrate it. I'm not confident enough to do this on camera, guys. As I get better, I would, but... Um, that one is absolutely beautiful, and I can't remember how I achieved that. <laughs> this one's okay-ish. That one I like. This one I like. That's okay. That was with metallic paint, and I don't really like the metallic. So I found that these, this is at my absolute favorite, but actually that one's pretty nice too. It's just the white background. I'm not keen. That would have been beautiful if that would have been on tea dye paper. So that was some of the um, papers I made the other day. Um, and that was using a stencil. So, okay. So anyways, here we are. What I'm going to try, I've not tried this. I've got the ink on there. I'm going to see if this will take the ink off. Okay. And now... Well, I went over, I think I went over to get a piece of paper and I forgot it again. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing the plot here. This is what happens when I change my system. Oh, I love that. Now, that, I think, is my favorite. See how it's pulled the ink out? The only thing is I pressed it down too hard. That is really, really nice. I love the effect of that. So, if you can imagine that trimmed down into a journal card, that is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So, that's what I was trying to get at, guys. Um, if it's something that you've been thinking about and you've been put off by the really bold... 
um, you know, demos, it still is something, <clears throat> if you want to play around with it, you could absolutely make use of it. I am just loving it, loving it, loving it. Yeah, that, the weathered wood, that's just too pale. And I don't know that, in all fairness, that was one, I think I picked that up at a yard sale. So it may be um, starting to, you know, kind of dry out. That could be the problem with that one. Um, but I think I am going to have to get myself a few more Distress. I don't like the Distress Oxide. I know that. I, I've i tried this enough that I know I don't like it. But the Distress Ink, I think I'm going to invest in colors that I'm sure that I can make use out of. Let me just put a little bit more of that at the top. Alright, so let's try this again, and I'll try not to press as hard. And the other thing, let me see if I can put a little butterfly. Actually, I've got the bee, the little bumblebee here. Oh, let's hope. Hope and hope and hope and this one comes out, guys. Because it's got the bees on there. I would be so happy <laughs> if this comes out. Oh. Okay, let's set all this. Oh my god, I got such a mess in here. I must get organized. So they say that you can hang on to these papers and make use of them another way. Hmm, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll see about that. But I tend to end up with glue and all sorts of stuff on mine, so I'm not really... Although, it is starting to look kind of cool, but... Oh, I hope this has come out. Yeah, I pressed I pressed too hard again with the... Uh, and there's a bit of line showing. So I'm going to redo this one. Let's just carry on. I'm going to get it right. I'm not going to give up until I got it right. Well, you know what? I am going to change gears really quickly. I'm going to grab some pink. I've got some pink in. This is the Blushing Bride, and then I've got a little bit of this lavender. I tried the lavender yesterday, and it's super, super pale. So, I'm not holding out a lot of hope that that's going to show up, but... Uh, I better wipe that. There's probably some green left over, and I don't want to mix that in with my other. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do <laughs> you, you think there's some green left? <laughs> so, yeah, let me get that wiped really quickly. Oh, gosh. Maybe you're supposed to let that dry first. Mm, yeah, that's not looking too, too promising there. I probably should have let that dry. There, that's starting to get a bit darker. Okay, I've got another stamp. Guys, just bear with me. Okay, so this is just a flower. Let's see if I can take that out. Actually, 
You know what, I'm going to do this twice because <clears throat> if it comes out, I'm thinking I could split that down to make almost like a bookmark. Okay, so now this is just the back of that. I'm going to go ahead and use it because this is just a practice. How are we doing on time? Yep, we're okay. We are okay. I think somebody said you can use your brayer as well. But I kind of like using my hands. It's a really cool... Um, it's not, it's kind of squidgy. I don't know. It just there's just something about it. I really am loving this. Oh, I hope this one's come out. Oh, that didn't come out. Mm, I wonder why. Probably because I had that water on there. Oh, what a shame. Okay, so I'm really happy with that one. I think that can be cut down into a nice little journal card. I will use that for sure. This one I'm probably going to cut down a bit more. And then this one, I had unfortunately already <laughs> already attached it to this. It was going to be a card, but I'm going to still play around. I'll figure out a way to use that. So, okay, I'm just trying to think of what else we could do. I've not used, um, I just ordered some stencils, and I've not tried this until this is going to be live. So this might be a live... Um, boo-boo. We'll see. I've never tried this. Um, the other day I was messing around. This is that blue again. I'm going to try to get that on there. Okay, let me just show you what I did the other day. This is the large Prima stencil I had. Now the other day with an A4 paper I was having to move it, and that's not great because each time you move it, you risk seeing the line. And I don't know, I haven't quite figured out. Um, I've seen that you can buy stencils that fit these, but I'm not spending that. It, it, they're crazy expensive. So I'm, I'm just playing around trying to figure out a way that I can make this work for me. Now, obviously for this, it's going to work because that can just be laid down and blue. I'm going to try I don't know if the purple they'd be cool if the purple would show I don't think it's going to over that blue but we'll just give it a try because I could use the yellow but I don't really want to keep using the same Color. And I suppose this is where, if you were doing this with paint for the cards, that would probably work much, much better. Because I've got more colors to choose from in the paint. But I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's just all trial and error. I'm hoping this is going to show up, but it may not. This is such a beautiful stencil. So let's take that up and fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed it's going to work. Oh lordy, I'm going to have to clean that stencil. Okay. Okay. Gosh, I got a big old mess in the studio today. And the paint, oh my gosh, I had the biggest mess with that stuff, guys, but it was so much fun. <laughs> So much fun. Did I just... Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Somebody needs to just slap me. I just pulled that up on that. And look at it. It would have been beautiful. If I... Oh, my gosh. Okay. we got to start over. I cannot believe I did that without adding that <laughs> card. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's start this all over again. Okay, we got the blue down. Now let's get the stencil again. 
place that down. This is where, I suppose, when I go back home, I'll be looking for some larger stencils at Hobby Lobby where I can use my 50% coupon. Because I'm loving this thing. I just can't tell you guys how much fun I've had playing with this. Um, and I just want to experiment more with some of the, um, the papers. All right, now, before I get too hyped up. Get my little card down there. I get so hyper sometimes. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> think, Gina, think. <laughs> yeah, I really wish that um, Prima stencil came in an A4. Oh, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful design. Let me check how I'm doing on time, guys. I don't want this to be too long of a video. Oh, I love it. Okay, it's not the colors I thought it would be. Because you can see the purple's not really um, showing. But that is just purely because I don't have a great selection of colors. But I totally can see that as a background um, for a journal card. And as I said, this one... I just love how that came out. And that was using that Prima stencil. And that one. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, I'm loving it, guys. Okay, so that's it. That's really all I wanted to share was my um, my big boo-boos with the jelly plate. But <laughs> no, in all fairness, um, you know, it's one of those things I think you just, you're just going to have to keep practicing at. But I, I'm loving it. It is fun. So, you know, if it is something that you've been bouncing back and forth on and thinking, oh, I don't know, um, I would recommend it. it it's, it's definitely doable um, for shabby chic. Um, soft colors are totally doable. So that's, uh, that's it for me today, guys. I just wanted to jump on and share with that with you guys. And um, you'll hopefully see some improvement as time goes on. But um, until then, you guys take care, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.